The 29th witness who made his submission in Kiswahili narrated how the Deputy President William Ruto would use the political platform in his Rift Valley stronghold to threaten the Kikuyu with eviction for supporting PNU party belonging to the then President Mwai Kibaki. Tell us please what it is that Mr. Ruto told his supporters on that occasion. That it was possible that the PNU party would, might be preparing to steal votes and for them that was not going to be acceptable and he said that it would be a good thing if for each Kikuyu after the elections no matter what uh, party might win be it ODM or PNU that they pack up their things and go home. The witness who was being cross-examined by the prosecution told the court how Ruto at Harambi in Tarbo said there were no Kimaios in central province and so the Kikuyu should park and leave Rift Valley. What did you understand Mr. Ruto to be trying to convey when he said, is there any Kimayo in central? Answer, it's to say that the Kikuyu came to our area and don't want us us Nandi to go live where they live in Central. So they want us to give them their our votes. The witness said that after the rally, Nandi youths then stormed Tarbo Town in protest to harm home the same message aboard a tractor and a pickup. Some young people were taken, transported by tractor, and they were calling out shouting, saying the Kikuyu and all those who support PNU must start uh, traveling, must be on their way. Meanwhile, the trial chambers granted Ruto two days off to attend the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland this Thursday. The request is granted to the extent that Mr. Ruto is accused for Thursday and Friday but he will return for Monday and Tuesday. Ruto, through his lawyers, had made the application on the grounds that he needed to represent Kenya at the economic forum. I do recognize it. Samson Kitavi, Channel One News. Sir, can we just please call up page zero one?